All right, hello everyone. This is Kurta giving you a shoutcast between um, CHN's Zuho versus, and I'm gonna actually have to turn off Fog of War in order to get everything. It's gonna be CHN's Zuho versus Zhao's Shishi. Um, I'm probably butchering the ne butchering the names with a little bit of my Kanto accent, but at least hey, let's look at this. It's the undead template on my screen. Therefore, the Crota icon looks like it's well fitted. All right, over here on the top left on Terranus stand, we do have Zuho. I'm just going to call him Undead from now on. Uh, undead spawning here on the top left. Meanwhile, on the bottom right, we do have Zuho's Shishi Night Elf here on Terranus stand. And this is going to be an Undead versus Terranus, uh, Undead versus Night Elf matchup here on Terranus stand. We are seeing an Ancient of War already being constructed here, so this is going to be some aggressive creeping coming in from the Night Elf player. Now, taking a look at the Undead, the Undead player looks like he will be opening up with Crypt Fiends. It does mean that he will have a significant delay in his... Excuse me, significant a significant delay in his death knight. So he, it will be a little bit of time. He is already trying to train up some more ghouls. He will be able to start returning it to that graveyard in just a moment. Meanwhile, the night elf player is going for a warden first. So perhaps a little bit of some aggressive fan of knives. Shadow strike play may be in the future. So far, we only see one moonwell being placed down. So the base looks rather sparse. Undead should be able to come in here and really harass all of these Wisps pretty easily as we now see a Wisp make its way across the map. Now, Wisp will be making it out over here. We are going to be seeing a Tomb of Relics now being placed down as well. Ziggurat is done. Death Knight now finally being trained. Crypt Fiends are being added here as the Archer and this Ancient of War are ready to go. Three Wisps being brought over in order to repair. Warden should be making its way out just about now. I think the Ancient of War has actually built a little bit too far. Shishi could have um, done better in this aggression as now the Ancient of War is going to be doing a bit of tanking. Wisp are already on auto repair. There is that Archer dealing a lot of damage to these four units here with that Lightning Shield. Very, very effective play. We may actually see the Archer Polo back. Yeah, and now just only try to damage that Renegade Wizard. Uh, it looks as though the Ancient of War is going to be taking a lot of damage. Is he going to be now making his way forward? No, he's just going to eat up some more trees as well. Tome of Knowledge. And we are already at level 2. Back over here, we are seeing a second Ancient of War being placed down. As the Renegade Wizard will get taken down. True Shot Aura, a rather nice item for the, un for the Night Elf player as the Warden will give additional bonus damage to all of the archers and huntresses. Death Knight now already on the move. You can see Essence of Blight was actually utilized here. A bit of a confusion. Perhaps we will see a Ziggurat for some towering attempts over here against this Renegade Wizard. That's going to be an interesting, interesting battle as we now see that the Crypt Fiend has already taken a bit of damage. Death Knight is already sitting at level 1. There goes a Death Coil to try and heal up that Crypt Fiend. The Crypt Fiends are tanking up a lot more damage as opposed to those Skeletal Minions. Meanwhile, the Warden is still wandering around now with Slippers of Agility, dealing a bit of bonus damage. And where is that Warden going to be traveling to next? Going to be heading off straight to the north. You can see the Crypt Fiends. He's going to go ahead and take down some of these rogues here. Level 2 now on that Death Knight. Another Skeletal Minion now being added, as we should be seeing this upgrade to a spirit tower in just a little bit all right in comes the warden ancient of war is already in position and now the mud golem is going to cast some slow across all of those archers the warden looks like it is going to be hiring some mercenaries yes going to pick up a troll berserker no troll shadow priest though as the kobold geomancers are casting slow and actually focus firing down this one particular troll berserker ancient of war still looking pretty good a potion of greater healing has been dropped a very nice item i do believe the night elf yes will be picking that up as we now see the speed or the nerubian tower actually being constructed so a nerubian tower over a spirit tower so there's going to be a bit of slow but really not nearly as much damage all right we are going to see the death knight now make its way over as well the nerubian tower has been constructed and perhaps we will see an engagement against all of these renegade units off over here. The Warden sitting at level 3 with Potion of Greater Healing. 
and True Shot Aura and Slippers of Agility should be looking pretty strong right about now as we do see that the Crypt Fiend are going to be battling up against this one particular ward. And there's a quick Death Coil to try and save that low hit point Crypt Fiend. There's some damage being dealt. I still believe that the Rubian Tower is a bit too far, but then it is going to enforce an engagement on Blight, which is exactly what the Undead wants to do. Significant, significant health regeneration when fighting on Blight. Also, the Enforcer now trying to get away. Will it be able to get away? It looks like it will be able to get away, but it's just going to come back in once again. There is a Shadow Strike, and oh, True Shot Aura um, picked up by the Death Knight, and the Death Knight now benefiting all of those Crypt Fiends even further. Archer is now trying to come in. This may not be a good engagement for the Night Elf player. Has a significantly smaller army. All he can really do is just poke with those Shadow Strikes and perhaps get the damage done. Um, Brigan does get taken down. We see a Haunted Goldmine already coming into play as the Troll Berserkers and the Archers were Shadow Melded. Sorry, just the um, Archers. The Troll Berserker just standing there looking like a fool as the Warden now going to make its way over. Warden now looking to perhaps come inside. Is it going to be able to blink and Shadow Strike? Um, going after some of those units there. There's a Shadow Strike. That one, oh, there's the Death Coil to save it. I do, in fact, believe, though, that the Warden could get enough damage there. No, the Acolyte is on Blight, so it actually will be able to regenerate the hit points rather quickly. It may actually end up with, what, um, fit, yeah, 24 hit points. The regeneration on Blight was exactly what it was needed. As we now see the skeletal minions going after the engagement. Archer is now trying to perhaps take down this haunted gold mine. It's not going to work out. We are seeing a tree of life being established by the Night Elf player. But the archers and all the units are still backing off. Death Knight now giving chase with all of these Crypt Fiends. Death Knight now looking to come in, and it looks as though the Death Knight is going to finish off perhaps an Archer or two. Level 3 Death Coil. Oh, some beautiful pathing there, but the Archer still gets taken down with a Death Coil. Level 2 Death Coil Frost Armor now coming in as the Death Knight looks to continue the creeping strategy. Right now, I would say that the Undead has a significant, significant advantage. Circle of Nobility was dropped here, so perhaps some Ancient of War Creeping had gone on. So the Warden is still looking pretty strong overall. What we will see is that the Night Elf player just going to start entangling this gold mine and get it underway here as we are getting up some Ziggurats and now Undead running up on two bases. This may turn into a very long macro-centric game as the Warden now runs off to the north. All right, it looks as though there is a Gauntlet of Ogre Strength. Not much is going to be happening there. Crypt Fiends now making their way over as we see the Necropolis now coming in. There's a Shadow Strike, and I believe that Acolyte will get taken down. There it goes, and the Warden could be going after more. It looks as though the Acolyte may get taken down there. What? what? Yes, there is another one as the Warden now sits at level 4 and blinks straight north and is able to escape rather quickly. All right, all the units still sticking around close will this warden be able to come back in and play again warden looking very strong boots of speed slippers of agility circlet of nobility could be able to blink in and out of there in a moment's notice and get in some more damage there is an attack and there goes the time life as the ziggurat now getting taken down as well all right it looks like another acolyte may get taken down there is it going to be enough yes it does get taken down and now the warden just trying to focus off another one will it be able to blink away yes able to blink over the ga chasm here and end up on the far side nicely done to clean up as the death knight now sitting at level four there is ancient of wars nearby oh what item was picked up there i believe it was a circlet of nobility and a manual of health the ancient of wars doing some a great job um creeping as the death knight now looks to come in the death knight however getting slowed by that shadow strike and now wandering around slightly the death knight down to 800 some odd hit points should be able to get away the boots of speed on the warden not enough to overact the Unholy Aura at level 2. There is another Shadow Strike there as both sides are continuing to battle it up still. Warden now rather low on mana. Is he actually going to come out ahead? As the Death Knight now being forced to back away again. The Warden does not have enough mana for another Shadow Strike. If you guys remember, the Shadow Strike now costs 75 instead of 65. And where is the Warden going? The Warden is traveling off here. No, that is the Panda. Where did the Warden go? Warden back over here buying some perhaps yes a clarity potion and picking up that potion of healing again. Now no mana left in these mana in these moon wells. I'm surprised that a moonstone was not being used. 
As we see, an orb of venom has been picked up. So an orb of venom on the warden. The warden going to be very, very difficult to uh, shut down now as the panda now sitting at level 1. We can see also Drew to the Claw is out. I believe Adept or Mastery Training should be coming in momentarily as, oh, do we, uh, what is happening here? Wow. Wow. That, that's a huge loss. The panda all of a sudden gets to level 3, is now able to blink in. And, whoa, that that was perhaps one of the unexpected losses, uh, one of the most unexpected losses all of a sudden. Um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you about that. I, I, I remember Grubby actually losing a game just because a Zeppelin died over untraversable terrain. And that's exactly what you saw there, untraversable terrain, Goblin, uh, the... The Warden was able to get off, with that Orb of Venom, was able to shoot down the Zeppelin, giving level, I believe, just giving experience away as the Panda was at level 3 by that point, right? Yeah, the Panda was at level 3, so only one hero kill, but um, that, that Zeppelin also had a lot of Crypt Fiends. So, what a terrible way to lose a game as the Night Elf player takes game 1. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening.